I'm starting to get used to it, think I'll survive I met you in the summer When you left it was cold Said we loved one another Guess that we were wrong Today I'm so excited because I'll be sharing with you my closet organization system. A special thank you goes to my husband for building this closet and to my mom for helping out with the design and organization. So I broke up all of my hobbies into different categories and I asked myself, what would I use this item for? And then use that information to determine which kits or stations those items would be categorized into. A station is something that is in a fixed location and is for a designated activity. So for example, over here I have my gift wrap station. A kit is an item typically in a box that can be relocated to a different location in the room or in your house that contains all the items that you'll need to do that activity. And then I also have a mobile station which has all of those items that you need on the station. In this case we have an art cart and a planner station. And that can be relocated to my desk, a couch, anywhere else in the house, but it has all the items that I need to either plan or to do the art activity. Let's start with the gift wrap station. So this contains everything that I need to wrap a gift. Up here, I have a basket for a ribbon and some tiny bags. Down here, we have some string and scissors as well as tape. Over here is a ruler as well as scissors and gift wrap. And these are actually on curtain rods. But the idea of this is that you can pull the paper out and then just cut it off. Here I have some gold washi tape for wrapping as well as some gift bags hung on the wall. This drawer is also part of my gift wrapping station. I have some extra wrapping paper in here, some extra bags, as well as any tissue paper that I need some little baggies for wrapping tiny gifts and then in this box i have my twine and tacks underneath the gift wrap station is the planner cart which is from michael's and we purchased a topper to go with this so i can set my planner out on top the top section is where i keep my paper cutter which i use all the time in my planner and my planner clips. So I have these different square containers to categorize the clips. I have my planner bands on the side right here. This pouch is where I keep my planner pens, specifically the Papermate Inkjoy pens, which I love to use in my planner. On the second level, I keep some of my favorite pens my mild liners, which I use in my planner all of the time. Back here are my cutting supplies, scissors, and this actually someone gave me at PlannerCon. It's for cutting on the go, and they actually allow you to take this onto airplanes, so you can plan in an airplane if you want to. I use this to punch holes into my Happy Planner inserts. My adhesives are in this tray. So I have permanent adhesive, which I use all of the time in my planner, and some correction tape. I have special little paper clips and things to keep my planner page. And then this basket holds my post-its. So it's different sticky notes that I can use in my planner. And I'm using this Planner Society pouch to store colorful pens to use in my planner. On the bottom shelf, I use this pouch to keep my planner stencils. This pouch holds my pocket pages for my happy planner. And in here I keep my Etsy sticker kits. This binder has materials for making dashboards.
this notebook I showed in a video how to store your dashboards in here. So I'll link that video down below. I also have some smaller stickers in this sticker book. This came with the Planner Society, so I keep her stickers in here. This pouch has my Paper Mate Flare pens. And this last pouch has color pencils. Once again, we have this cover so I can just set my art supplies on here or maybe use this as a surface to draw on. Here I have some whiteout, some adhesive tape, as well as a roll of scotch tape. I have adhesive dots, glue, E6000, anything that I'm going to need for an art project. I also have my stapler pens and colored pencils. This shelf is where most of my pens and pencils are kept on my art cart. On the left I have some fun embellishments that I can use to maybe make a clip with these paper clips. I have a little notebook that I'm planning to use to doodle in. I use these pencils all the time for drawing. I have pens back here and this pen cup. And then I have my calligraphy pens, which I keep separate from the other pens so they don't get mixed in. The bottom section is my card making station. This is called the Sizzix Texture Boutique, which is used for embossing. And that's why we have embossing plates over here everything that comes with this embosser and in this box I have some blank cards. This shelf is where I store my lighting equipment for this YouTube channel and it's empty right now because I'm currently using it to film this video. This tower is where I store my colored scrapbook paper. These boxes are labeled according to the color of paper inside. This one says blue purple. These cabinets are shallow to allow for easy access to each of the items. I wanted to prevent stacking as much as possible because that means it's gonna be less likely for me to put something away if it's more difficult to get to. These shelves are also adjustable, so they can be changed to different sizes if my needs for these shelves change in the future. I keep my camera equipment in this basket and then my planner stickers in these two binders. I have a whole video about the setup of these binders, which I'll link down below for you. I keep all of my Planner Society kits in this bin. They normally come in a box and they come in this paper package, so I got rid of the box and I'm keeping all the contents within the paper back package so that I can easily stack them side by side and it takes up a lot less space in my closet. These are 4x6 photo cases that I am keeping my die cuts in. Then in here I have my sticker sheets which are too large to fit in a binder as well as my alphabet stickers. I use this container for fabric storage and this is my mailing packaging kit. So I do a lot of giveaways on this channel and I store all of the packaging for those giveaways in this box. So 
All of my sticker books are kept in this bin here. And I keep my Happy Planner inserts in this filing system. I'll link the video where I go over how I store all my inserts down below. Behind this filing system, I store my Happy Planner desktop portable punch. My washi easily fits in back here and I keep it in this storage container from Michaels. Down here, I keep more equipment for filming my YouTube videos. This board I use to take Instagram photos. Then we have the clay station. This is everything that I need to make something out of clay. We have clay tools, chalk for adding details to the clay, paper clips for turning it into a planner clip. You've probably seen some of the videos where my husband and I make planner clips out of clay as well as all the different colors of clay that I have categorized. This drawer I showed you before is where I keep those extra gift wrapping supplies. And down here I have several kits. On the left is my planner charm kit. I have a sewing kit and I have a fountain pen kit where I keep my fountain pens and the ink for them. isn't completely done being built but when it is I'm definitely going to show you the rest of the storage that I have in this room and what this room looks like. I would really appreciate it if you could share this video with your friends or anyone you think that may benefit from these ideas and I'll see you next Saturday. Bye! I met you in the summer When you left it was cold Said we loved one another Guess that we were wrong Oh, my.